The feline mind, what's really going on in there? What does your cat really think of you? What do they really think of their current environment? And why, oh why, do they do some of the odd and zany things they do? Weird cat behaviors, well, at least to us anyway. That's the topic of this video. I've got 10 lined up for you, and I'll let you be the judge of the weird factor. Cats rarely have a misstep. Most everything they do, they do with intention. And behind the strange, there's a purpose. And my purpose is to break it all down for you. I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Let's kick things off with a common one, and that is bunting. Good old-fashioned headbutting. Bang! Your cat just goes headfirst into your shin, or your arm, or your shoulder, or your face. Have you ever had your cat just headbutt you square in the mouth? I mean, you're not really living your best life until your cat almost chips your tooth. And I'm speaking from personal experience here. Headbutting or bumping or bunting, it's an I love you gesture. In addition to claiming you, it's a claiming you gesture for sure. Your cat is scent marking you, claiming you as territory, while at the same time letting you know that, hey, you're all right. Consider it the feline version of a hug. And similar to headbutting, there's kneading, up and down, making those biscuits. So what's this all about? Visually, well, it's almost as strange as it gets, especially free of all context. Kneading, it harkens back to kittenhood. Those baby cats, that pushing motion uh, would aid in all the in the all-important, uh, the, the milk flow. And now that your cat is, I don't know, say 15 years old and senior status, they probably still do this. This is one of the behaviors that brings cats right back to the first weeks of life. Reminding you that felines are never too far removed from their youth. The act of kneading, well, it brings a cat, your cat, a sense of comfort. It's soothing, although watch yourself. In addition to the almost chipped teeth from the headbutting, kneading could cause some bruising. Your cat is showing you love, so... You might need some body armor. Next up, this one is less about the visual act, but more about the uh, the act and what it produces. Let's <laughs> say cats are great stalkers and great hunters, experts when it comes to capturing prey. And if you're precious felines, uh, if they get to roam the great outdoors, they could return to your back door of your home with a present: a bird, a mouse, a lizard, even a snake. Look what I caught, and I did it all for you. Are you are you proud of me? Yeah, no thanks. A gift card would be fine, or some tickets to the game. In this situation, the best thing you can do is just play it cool. Just simply remove the gift and just be on your way. No reason to scold your cat because they didn't really do anything wrong. Your cat's just being a cat. And if your pet loves and trusts you, there's a chance, at least at some point, you'll receive a gift along the ownership journey. If I fits, I sits. That brings us to our next weird behavior. Your cat attempting to nap just about anywhere. Nothing, uh, especially for young and healthy felines, is really off limits. Unlike dogs, cats really aren't a big fan of complete open spaces. They like to be shielded off and comfortable and have that sense of protection. This is why some cats will be drawn to an empty shoe box rather than in the middle of a large living room. Cats love to feel safe, and it makes perfect sense. And the images it can produce, well, they can they make up a large portion of the internet. <laughs> That's for sure, the internet entertainment. What about this weird one? Chewing things and I don't mean food and snacks. I'm talking about paper, plastic, your shoes, the sofa. Now, this one is strange enough, but it's also weird behavior that could potentially put your cat in great danger. Consumption of certain items can produce a choking hazard, not to mention create the possibility for digestive concerns. If at all possible, make sure that small items of a random nature are kept out of your cat's curious path, let's call it. Did you drop a rubber band on the floor? Pick it up immediately. Something like that and similar items, they can pose a real threat to a chew-curious feline. As for the why, some cats are just plain curious, while other cats are drawn to things that just are not food. If you find that your cat has a real problem keeping things out of its mouth, a vet visit could very much be in order. The next one on the list, some cat owners never get to actually hear it, and that is chattering. Not to be confused with meowing or purring, chattering usually occurs uh, with, when a cat spots prey. Birds can often play a huge role in the chatter fest. Chattering is somewhat part charming and an attempt to entice the bird. And also part frustration of, well, this thing is flying around and making my life miserable because I can't get to it. So close, yet so far away. In the comment section below, does your cat chatter? Let me know. And here's one. I mean, a cat would never do this, right? Knock things over? Nah. That would never happen. A cat would never see something on a table 
take a swipe at it, and then just knock it to the ground. That would never happen. <laughs> when it comes to stereotypes and even cad memes, the act of knocking things over reigns supreme. What's what's that one meme about where the Earth is the Earth is flat, and how we know the Earth isn't flat because in a flat Earth, the cats would have already knocked everything off. Have you seen that one? I think the cat is about to knock a bottle off the edge of the planet <laughs> in that meme, knocking things over at the core. It's weird behavior to us because it flies in the face of common courtesy and respect, right? It's more like something a small child would do, but as I say quite often, cats and kids, they're a lot alike. The why of the matter? Well, knocking things over is usually done for attention. I mean, the glass shatters. You won't ignore it, and your cat knows it. And here's another good one. Track and field events in your living room around 2 in the morning. Is that a good time for you? The zoomies. Cats just running around the house and yelling. Being chased by the invisible man for minutes at a time. It looks weird. Or how about this one? You're petting your cat, calm and quiet. All is right with the world, and your cat bites you and runs away. All while still purring. Too much of a good thing, even the best thing, can cause the zoomies. Overstimulation, that tension, the, the pressure point. Cats have to respond to the moment. The result is running all around and acting wild. Some cats are a little more zoomified, let's say, than others. But if you've owned a cat for even a week, you likely find yourself witness to some unexplained laps being turned in your home. Daytona 500 qualifying, right there in your living room. This next one, this is a frustrating one for you, because unlike many on this list, it's more than just watching your cat do something crazy, something zany. This one hits you where you live, and that involves your cat just taking your stuff or taking over your spot, blocking you from doing things. Basic example here. Let's say you're just sitting there, you've got your computer out, uh, all of your paperwork, you're doing a big project, and then your cat decides to sit on your laptop and meow up a storm. Or that paperwork, your cat right before your eyes just decides that those documents you've got, that'd be a great spot for napping. This type of behavior is a cry for attention. It often comes after the actual cry for attention. If your pet sees that something is taking your attention, it's not uncommon for some cats to block that attention. He can't mess with that computer. And if I sit on it, then he'll have a, no other choice but to notice me. Here again, this is very, you guessed it, very childlike. And finally, this is one I'd like to call groom and bite. Two cats, perhaps litter mates. You're watching them groom each other. One cat doing all the heavy lifting, just grooming and grooming. What a happy scene. And then the groomer uh, licks the neck of one cat and then bites it. Well, that's different. This is a weird one because at least to us, it makes no sense at all. Uh, I have to get you all good and clean before I bite your neck. Oh, what's that about? Well, it's about play. It's an odd act of play. Uh, the grooming is done out of love, but hey, since you're this close, let's just have a play fight. I guess this would be like hugging one of your best friends and then tripping them like two seconds later. I don't know. <laughs> and there you have it. Ten weird cat behaviors, some clearly a bit more bizarre than others. So, to the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, does your cat engage in most of these on a regular basis? Does your pet have a few strange behaviors that I did not cover? Some of the common ones uh, that uh, you know about and some that are just sort of beyond unique? <laughs> Your stories, your general thoughts, comment section, as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and as always, I will talk to you later.